Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna get caught up with you on all of the crypto mining hardware news, really from what feels like the last three, four weeks. So stay tuned and we're gonna do that together. So it just feels like there's been so much being released or rumored or sightings of things over the last month. And I just took some time to make sense of it all and I'll roll through it with all of you guys here. We're gonna cover GPUs from NVIDIA, AMD, and as well as FPGAs and mining software updates at the end. But to get us started, I love using this website. If you don't use this website, videocardswithaz.com. It's where I get most of my news on mining related GPUs or just GPUs in general. I really enjoy it. And looking back at the end of November, one of the first things that I saw, and we're going to cover a lot of AMD stuff, and then we'll get to NVIDIA, is just a lot of these sightings and rumors and filings for mining specific GPUs from AMD and its board partners. And these are not things, this is not the first time that there have been mining specific AMD GPUs. And there's been, of course, NVIDIA specific mining GPUs as well. But the first one that I saw that caught my eye was this Sapphire X080 and X060 mining cards built specifically to mine. They're not for gaming. And I'll leave links to all this stuff down in the description below. But these I looked at performance wise doing 38 mega hash or 29 mega hash. And you can see the uh, TDP listed as well there. But looking at it optimized looks even better coming in really efficient, you know, really, I guess where most really good Ethereum GPUs are right now is above like a 0.45 on efficiency, above a 0.5 on efficiency has been like the gauge that I've been using to decide if a GPU might be worth it for mining. And these are based off of Navi 22 chipset, which is what is used inside the 6700 XT, which we know is not like the most efficient GPU for Ethereum mining. So it looks like these cards change things up a little bit to become more efficient. And then following that, you start seeing the AMD BC160, which you guys may have seen mentioned around the content creation space before, but these are real. You can go buy these actually right now. And they're mining specific cards from XFX based on Navi 12. And it looks like performance on these is about 70 mega hash uh, because of the memory that it's using. And you can buy this. You can go on AliExpress right now, pay two grand and have one of these or many of these shipped directly to you. So first we have the X080 and X060. Then we have the BC160 here. And then following that, you can see the rumors for filings for the BC2235, which sounds like another mining card, but has 10 gigabytes of RAM in this one. And we're just not sure at this time what um, Navi it'll be based off of. Could be 22, could be something else, but another blockchain specific card, another mining specific card. And that was pretty much everything that I saw on the AMD front. You know, not surprised, right? Mining is still really profitable. So why not get into the game for some of these board partners and create mining specific models that may be more efficient and more appealing to miners? Just another rev revenue stream for them. Moving over to NVIDIA, one of the first things that you saw were some of the rumors for not only new 3080 models, 3070 Ti models, 2060 models, just ridiculous, the amount of models. And the first things I saw was the new RTX 3080, which really just boosts, I think, the memory and then does it boost as well uh, the CUDA cores a little bit too. So like just like an upgraded 3080 uh, which I thought was interesting. And of course, that would have better mining performance, but of course would have LHR built in there. And then you can see the 2060 12 gigabyte is another GPU that looks like it's coming out. And there's some rumors about that one here. Seems like this one is going to be on the horizon shortly. And the one I'm personally looking forward to getting is the 3090 Ti, another GPU in the 30 series, but this one will take the top of the stack. And you can see this picture here of the Asus Tough rumored 3090 Ti packaging. And then with MSI, we actually, it looks like got a leaked date of January 27th, some internal documents uh, for the embargo lift date, which is when 
all the reviewers can post videos and articles and all that being January 27th for the 3090 Ti. And you can see how that sizes up next to the current 3090, has some more CUDA cores, and then I believe it has faster memory clock and more memory bandwidth. But that TDP of the card coming in at 450 watts is crazy. I don't think this would be an LHR card because NVIDIA didn't seem find it necessary to do on the 3090 because it's not the most efficient Ethereum mining card. So I'm curious. I'll probably get one of these to start, get on some EVGA notify queues. I'd like to maybe do like a rig of four of these would probably be a sweet spot based on the TDP that it does. I want to see what it does on ETH, which should be a little bit better than the 3090, but I also want to see what it does on the prog pow based algorithms being uh, Fira Pow and Ka Pow. Uh, should do better on those as well. So I'm excited to see that. So I'm personally, of all the GPUs that are coming out, that are rumored, this is the one I'm personally excited to be able to get a hold of. Now, a little bit different, we'll talk about FPGAs, uh, which if you're not familiar, an FPGA stand, it like steps between like a GPU and an ASIC. It's kind of like a programmable ASIC, typically more efficient than a GPU, um, but and less efficient than an ASIC. And it sits kind of somewhere in there. I'm not going to go through it all right now, but this is the one I had my eye on. I bought one uh, about a week ago. Uh, it's this Varium C1100 blockchain accelerator card. The reason I got one is because the folks over at Team Redminer, the developer team over there, created a bitstream for it, which is what you need for an FPGA. So they created a bitstream so you can mine with that card in Team Redminer. And I was excited to see the performance uh, notes that came out. I'll pull them up here. So this is Todd. He's one of the devs over on Team Redminer. Says that you can get 75 mega hash per second for about 100 to 110 watts. And that is after including adding a fan. So these are really efficient mining GPUs or FPGAs for Ethereum. So I'm excited just to get one, mess around with it, and see what happens. Um, so really for me, looking ahead, super excited to get this, get back into the FPGA game. It's been a while and really excited to get a 3090 Ti. And then we'll just see where everything else falls. I mean, GPUs are just keep coming and coming. Nobody is slowing down, even though they are really, really hard to get. But that's it, guys. Those are some of the things that I was just going through myself personally. I would love to know from you what I missed. Let me know down in the comments section. What cards are you looking forward to getting? Have you gotten any of those AMD mining specific cards yet? Let me know down in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you in the next video.